Welcome, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me today in the Magnetize Abundance and Peace five day challenge. I'm Teresa Grove, your Angel Connection, and I'm so excited that you're here with me today. I decided to do this challenge because the holidays and the new year can sometimes bring stress, anxiety, um, worry about what's to come. And with the theme that we are having for 2023, which is the year of spiritual awakening, that's what my angels have given me for the year, um, is that it's time to create a flow of energy. And that flow of energy is going to help bring in all of the abundance, all of the peace, all the prosperity and success that you are hoping to create in your life. You know, it's all about magnetizing and attracting your very best life and doing it now. There's not a better time to do it than now. And we've been kind of on the sidelines waiting to see what things are going to bring. And the angels have clearly told me that it is no longer a time to sit by on the sidelines. It is time to actively create and co-create your future, your reality, your here and now in the new world, in the new way of doing things. So isn't that so exciting? I'm just thrilled and excited with what is going to come. So just super excited that everything is going to really change this year. I mean, geez, we've been going through so many changes over the last few years. And some of you, including myself, are like, oh my gosh, when is this going to end? Well, I'm here to tell you, beautiful one, that you have the power right now, today, in this moment, and the weeks to come, to create an even better future for yourself and your business or your life, whatever it is that you are working on to bring in that happy place, right? Because it's all about living our best life right now. And that's what this whole challenge is about. It's to get you ready. It's to get you ready for what is to come. And it's to ensure that the things that you are manifesting align with your true essence, with your divine blueprint of who you are and who you came here to be. So in a nutshell, that's what we're doing today. So just give me a moment. I want to take a couple seconds to make sure that my tech is working, that everything is in the right place, that I can see comments as they go. And um, as you join, please say hello, give me a like, um, share a heart with me, and let me know that um, everything looks good. Okay, perfect. Um, I have to tell you, there's a little bit of construction going on outside of my window here in my angel space. And so I just wanted to um, put that out there. If you hear some banging or whatnot, it's okay. <laughs> All is well. All is well. All right. Perfect. So I can see comments. Okay. I can hear myself. That is perfect. Okay. So I'm just going to test my comment section. How are you guys doing today? How is your week? Are you all prepared for the holidays? How are things coming together? Do you have everything you're, you're going to give? You're going to cook? All that good stuff. I was doing some last minute shopping today. And uh, the stores, post office, everything was completely um, not busy. <laughs> Which shocked the heck out of me, actually. Okay, perfect. So I think now that we have everything going and tech looks good, let's get started. Okay, so I wanted to give you a brief overview, <clears throat> excuse me, of what we're going to include over the next five days. And know that you don't have to attend live. I will have this 
posted for you each day and you can join me in the replay and leave comments and questions and um, anything like that at the replay section. So no worries if you can't make it. I knew 2 p.m. is um, kind of challenging for those of you that are working. Um, so what we're going to be doing is today we're going to be preparing the flow of energy and magic for the upcoming year. We are going to um, create our theme. We're going to decide what we want to see for our lives for the upcoming year. We are going to um, decide on three goals. Okay, so these are things that if you have not thought about, I want you to start thinking about because these are very important. This is setting the stage for what is coming for us in the upcoming year. So day two, tomorrow, we're going to be centering and cleansing our energy, removing blocks. So what our intentions that we put out, our goals and our theme for the upcoming year will um, be able to be received so that we can anchor that into our four body system and into our energy field. This is important because when you're working on magnetizing, you want to make sure it's coming from the very best space. Otherwise, you're going to magnetize the things that you don't want. Okay, so that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, day three, we're going to be calling in peace. And we're going to call in peace for the holidays. So there's less stress, less anxiety, less rushing, so that you can actually begin to enjoy the time that you're going to have with your family and friends. Okay, I think that's so important. You know, I realize that I do so much hustling and running around and busy stuff that I don't spend the time with my loved ones. It's like the next day I'm like, wait a minute, I spent the whole day hosting and cooking and cleaning and I didn't have a chance to spend that quality time with my family. And that is really, truly what matters, right? We're honoring Jesus. We're honoring God. We're honoring this beautiful time. And we have to be present in the moments that we have right now. Because we never know what tomorrow is going to bring. We do not know what next Christmas holiday season is going to bring. We have no idea. Okay, if it's the year of spiritual awakening, we just don't know what's coming for us. So this is so important. Now, day four is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to call in abundance. We're actually going to call it all in. And when I talk about abundance, I'm talking about um, abundance of time, abundance of energy, abundance of good health, abundance of success, laughter, joy, happiness, romance, love of life, connection with our angels, our relationship with God, bringing in the light. Okay, so abundance takes on so many more forms than money and material wealth. Okay, now day five, we are going to bring it all together. We're going to recap what we've done in each day. And we're going to really make sure that we are receiving, that we are coming from a space of positive feelings, good vibes, that we are actually calling in all of the good and sweetness of life. So it's going to be great. Okay, so I think that pretty much sets the stage for the next five days. And, you know, I haven't decided if I'm going to go live tomorrow or the next, the days coming. So I'm going with the flow of what the angels have in store for this. So you may see me coming live, but you also might see um, a recap on a video that I will post. So you'll have to check back tomorrow at two o'clock to see what's gonna happen. A little suspense. <laughs> so silly, okay. So I would like to begin our day with a little quick meditation to allow you to release all the energy and all that anxiety, stress, hurrying, 
um, worry, whatever in your day that's not going to serve in this process, okay? So let's begin. I would like you to close your eyes and get comfortable in your seat. And I want you to just take some deep breaths. Breathe, release, nice deep, deep in your solar plexus. I want you to bring it up from the bottoms of your feet all the way up and then hold it up here close to your heart and just let it all go. And I want you to breathe in light and release any negativity, any density, anything that does not serve. And I want you to start seeing all of that energy that got you here today, going down through the bottoms of your feet, down into the earth and just releasing and letting the angels, letting Mother Earth take all of that from you. You don't need it right now, just let it all go. Yes, just see that, just being absorbed by the earth as you're breathing and you're aware of your breaths. Anything that comes to your mind, just let it pass through, let it move on, and give yourself a clean slate. Now let's thank Mother Earth for taking all of that energy from us. She supports us so beautifully. And Archangel Sandalphon supports that foundation and holds us up from the bottom, which is beautiful as Archangel Metatron holds our light at the top. So we have beautiful energy flowing from our crown down to our root and down to our Earth Star Chakra. Perfect. Allow that flow. Doesn't that feel nice? One final breath. Oh, yes. Much better. I am definitely ready to begin. How about you? Okay, so let's get started. All right. So what we're going to do, do you have your pen and paper available? I want you to have your pen and paper ready. Oh, I got some angel bumps there. Ooh, the angels are with us today, calling in Sandalphon and Metatron, and I am wearing Metatron's cube today. Um, I just felt him today and knew that he was going to be with us, supporting us in our efforts, which is beautiful. Okay, so I want you to really go inside. I want you to dive deep into your heart, and I want you to work on deciding what you want to see for yourself in 2023. What do you see for yourself? Close your eyes and envision what if you could ask for anything in the world, your one wish, you are your genie. What would you ask for your life in 2023? And it's typically the first thing that comes into your mind. So I'm going to give you a moment and allow you to do that. Well, I do it for myself. Mm. Now, what I want you to do, if you have that with you, great. If you don't, keep working on it. It's okay. And don't overthink this. Okay, if you overthink this, you're going to miss it. All right, so what's popping into your mind? I want you to write that down, and it could be more than one thing, because I wrote down one and I realized I needed to uh, be a little bit more, um, what's the word, intentional about it, okay? All right, so write that down and any additional words that come with that, okay? And then just leave that, and then we're going to move on to the next thing. And now we're going to select three goals. So wait, going back, I'm sorry, I was getting ahead of myself. So the theme, I'm going to help you out a little bit with this, okay? I realize that maybe I'm just leaving that too open. So thinking about your theme. I'm going to give you some options. Abundance, peace, freedom, prosperity, 
independence, growth, expansion, spiritual awakening, psychic abilities. And so do you see how these can have a secondary theme to them? So that's okay if they have a secondary theme. Go ahead and write that down. And as you're writing, you might receive further intuition and further guidance that there's more to it. So allow this process to just be. Okay, there's no pressure here. There's no pressure. Allow the angels to help guide and support this process. So I'm going to give you a moment. While I write mine down. Perfect. Woo! It's going to be a busy year. <laughs> it's going to be busy, but I am a busy body, so I love it. How about you? Okay, so let's move on to the next. So that's number one. So now we're going to mark number two. And I want you to do A, B, and C underneath number two. These are going to be our goals. Okay, so our goals to allow us to reach the potential of this theme that we have. Okay, does that make sense? So how can you come up with three goals that are tied into the theme that you have chosen for the upcoming year? Okay, so on A... I want you to come up with the first thing that pops into your head to get you to the theme for 2023. All right, here we go. That was easy. I hope that was easy for you. It just came to me. I just knew. So just go with your very first instinct. Don't overthink it, like I said, okay? All right, now, if you're ready, we're going to move on to B. What is the next thing that you can do, a goal, to get you to the theme that you have chosen for the upcoming year? Wow, that was easier. Gosh, the easier it gets, the better it gets. The better it gets, the easier it gets, right? Perfect. Okay, now C, that's going to be the third thing that you can do to realize your theme for the new year. What is the third thing that you can do? Okay, write it down now. I don't know about you, honey, but... um. Teresa Grove, your angel connection is going to be a busy, busy lady. And I'm so excited about that. It's going to be a breakout year. It's going to be a breakout year. Share with me a couple of your goals. Share with me your theme right now in the comments. And I'm going to share mine with you. Oh, if I could spell. Yes, there we go. Now, share with me in the comments one of the goals that you you have set for yourself. Okay, one of them that you're comfortable sharing. Okay, and I'm going to do the same. Woo! I put it out there. It's there. Did you put yours out there? We're creating, we're creating a flow. Yes, I'm going to be beginning a podcast. Another one, I used to do a podcast and I absolutely loved it. Um, God, for some reason, the name is completely, has left my mind because I think it's just, it's the new energy. And my podcast is Magnetize and Attract Your Best Life with Teresa Grove, of course. So I already have this all planned, but it's time to put things into action. All right, perfect. 
So I put it out there and you're going to put yours out there when you are on. Even if you're watching the replay, I want you to type this out. I want you to put it into words. I want you to put it out into the universe so the universe knows how to support you. Okay, perfect. Oh, hey, Janice. Can't text at the moment, but holding it in my heart. Perfect. I love that. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Okay, so that was ex super exciting, and I hope you all are feeling this energy. All right, so now that we have our theme for 2023, and we have our three goals to realize our theme, right, to bring in that magic. <laughs> hey, Tanya, Teresa Miller. Ooh, blast from the past. Hey, girl, <laughs> I'll tell you what, no doubt. Thanks for joining. You'll have to definitely, um, if you haven't heard before, watch the replay of what went on earlier because there's some powerful stuff going on here. Okay, so now what we're going to do in order to create this magical flow is we are going to visualize our theme and we are going to bring this into reality in our mind. Okay, now here's the key to this. I want you to do this practice weekly minimum, once a week, okay? On a daily basis is even better. The more you can visualize this, the more magic that you bring to the situation, okay? So I want you to take a moment and I want you to visualize that your theme is at play. It is happening right now now what does it look like okay so close your eyes close your eyes and i'm going to do this with you what does this theme look like it's playing out in your mind's eye right now what does it look like what are you doing what are you wearing how do you feel this is so important the visualization along with the emotion creates magical flow it magnetizes all the things that you're thinking on. So what are you wearing? How are you feeling? What does it smell like? Is it sweet? Is it clean? Is it savory? What does it even taste like? I want you to really bring in the magic by using all of your senses. The more you use the stronger and more powerful it gets, okay? So how does it feel? How does it look? How does it smell? How does it taste? What do you hear? What do you hear happening? Laughter, maybe it's applaud, maybe it's, I don't know, the humming of birds, who knows, just Feel that, see it, hear it, taste it, smell it, touch it. What is a touch like? What's the texture of this goal, of this reality, of this theme? Now sit with it for a minute. Just sit with it, feel it. Mm. Yes, the sweet feeling of success, of realizing that all you have set out to do is coming to fruition. You are living it now. Perfect. So I want you to write this down. You are going to do this practice, which is short. You don't have to spend a ton of time doing it. You could be washing your hair, putting on your makeup. You could be having your coffee. You could be doing anything, meditating, doing yoga, exercising, walking is perfect. Just don't close your eyes. <laughs> so do this every single day. And as you do this, and as you continue to visualize this, you're going to make it stronger every time. It's going to feel more palpable than it did before. Okay. So write that down that you're going to do this visualization 
every day. Perfect. Okay. Now, I want you to do the same thing for your three goals that's going to get you to the theme of the coming year, okay? So, for example, mine is begin my new podcast. That's one of my goals to get me to my growth and success. So I'm going to visualize my microphone. I'm going to visualize what my banner looks like. I'm going to visualize myself talking on that microphone, interviewing guests, having in-depth conversations with people who are joining. So I want you to take one of your goals, start with number one, and I want you to do this visualization, okay? Now, if you can or not, whatever, if you're feeling this, give me a thumbs up. Tell me how this is working for you. Does this feel like something that is going to work for you? I'd love to know. I'd love to hear, okay? So let me know in the comments or just give me a thumbs up. And now we're going to do a visualization of your goals. All right. So you're performing this first goal. You're performing it. How does it feel? Oh, it feels so good. It feels relief. It's easier than I thought. How does it look? Mm, simple, fun. What does it taste like? I feel citrus. I, I'm tasting citrus. It's fresh. It's revitalizing, rejuvenating. Right? What are you hearing? Mm, I'm hearing just laughter and fun. Yeah, podcasts are supposed to be fun, right? Yeah. Yes, and engaging. Perfect. What does it, how, how does it, when you touch it, what does it feel like to your fingers, to that sense? Hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Wonderful. Let's move on to goal number two. I want you to do the same thing, okay? Goal number two, I want you to visualize that you are doing this. You are accomplishing this goal because you're doing it. What does that feel like? Yes. What does that feel like? What does it look like? What does it smell like? Mm, what does that taste like? Mm -hmm. What kind of texture does this have if you touch it with your fingers? What do you hear? Yes. Whatever you get is perfect because the magic comes in in the doing. Okay, I'm going to hit that home. When you do it, you're creating the flow. You are putting out a signal, right? Your whole being. The more you do it, the more feeling and emotion that you have, the more powerful it is. Okay? So if you need to, before you start your visualizations, I want you to really gather your vital energy. Dance, sing, exercise, drink a glass of water. Really get that going, okay? Perfect. All right. I think we've done three. <laughs> I don't think so. I think we've only done two. Let's do the third one. And if we've already done number two, then that's okay. Go back to number one again and redo that one. So you're doing your goal. You're there. What does it look like? How do you feel? Look at your surroundings around you. Notice what is around you. Take it all in. Feel it. Embody that. Really step in to this process and give it your all. Whenever you're completing one of these goals, because you're going to do them on a weekly minimum basis. I want you to give it everything that you've got. Everything you've got. You know the term, God helps those who help themselves. Yes, this is true. We know this to be true, don't we? And ask your angels to help you get there, especially if you're having a hard time. 
ask your angels to help you get there. Perfect. Okay, I am loving this. How about you guys? How are you feeling about this? Everything feeling good? Oh yeah, I'm feeling the magic. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm, we're bringing it in. We are bringing it in. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do, number three. We are going to do affirmations regarding our theme and regarding our goals. Hey, Melissa. Oh, I'm so glad that you joined. Yay, yay. Perfect. That's okay. Go back to the beginning later after the replay is posted to really get the full gist of what we're doing here. Uh, we are major manifesting here. We're magnetizing and attracting our success for 2023. Okay. So number three, what we're going to do is we are going to create some affirmations around this theme and this goal. So Melissa, quick recap. We are deciding what our theme is for 2023. We are writing that down. If there's a secondary theme that goes with it, we're writing that down as well. That's number one. Number two, we are creating three goals that will help us achieve the theme that we've created for 2023. And then we're doing a visualization on each of those items to really bring in the flow and magnetize this to our lives. All right. So now we're on step three. It is totally just easy. <laughs> it absolutely is easy. The easier it gets, the easier it gets. The better it gets, the better it gets. The better it gets, the easier it gets. Okay. Believe that. Feel that. Because it does get to be easy. That's the thing. And have fun with it. The more you're having fun with it, you're taking the pressure off of everything. The more you put that vital life force energy into it that's amazing, that's fun, and that you're telling angels, you're telling God, it doesn't get better than this. This is where it's at. I do this all the time when I work with my clients, when I'm doing a healing session. One of the first things I do, one of the last things I do after I give thanks is I say, it doesn't get better than this. I want them to know to keep it coming. This is my passion. This is my love. This is what brings me joy. And this serves God. This serves you. This serves me. It serves the planet and our vibration. So I love that. Thank you, Melissa. You're the best. All right. So creating affirmations. Keep this simple. Okay. I want you to create an affirmation for each of your three goals. So for example, I am starting a podcast. My affirmation is, let me think. I am a great speaker. Right? Because those are things that I worry about. My voice. Oh my God, my voice. I can't stand to hear my own voice. So we're going to flip that and we're going to shift that. I am a great speaker, right? I have a beautiful voice. Whatever feels good. And I'm just using these as, as examples. So definitely create your own, right? Um, my podcast is successful. My podcast reaches the people who need to hear my message. You feeling it? I'm giving a thumbs up because I'm feeling it. Okay, so that's number one. Now go back and do two and three. So say you need to do marketing. Um, you're going to say, I can send out three emails every week. It gets to be easy. It's just easy to send emails, right? I have everything that I need to complete this task. So I want you to create your affirmations for these three goals, okay? And I want you to write them down. And as you're doing your visualization, 
Once you're done with those, I want you to do your affirmations minimum a weekly basis, but much better if you can do them daily. The more you put into this, the more you're going to get back. That's the beauty. You are in control. You are in the driver's seat. So make it worth it. Make it happen. Co-create. Okay? Perfect. So what do you all think of that? Any questions? Any concerns? About anything that we've gone through so far? Any questions? Just type in a little comment for y'all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't see any questions as of this time, but if you do have any, just pop them in, a, in the comments for me. And I will be going back, if you're watching the replay, to answer any questions or do any clarifications that you may need. All right, so as we are completing today's challenge, what we're going to do, we are going to wrap up our visualizations, our goals, our theme, and our affirmations in golden light, and we are gonna send them to the heavens on angel wings. Okay, so our angels are going to take this right on up. So what you can do if you're watching the replay and you need to go back, just pause and then come back to this and you can um, be with us as we send up our theme, our goals, our visualizations and our affirmations. Okay, so my beautiful queens, close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath. I want you to smile. I want you to feel good. I want you to feel that love in your heart, the love that I have for you, the love your angels have for you, the love that God has for you. I want you to feel that really, really strongly in your heart. And I want you to just allow that to go through every cell and every area of your body. Just fill yourself up with that unconditional love. Fill it up, let that overflow. And as you're building up this love energy, this flow of magic, this divine golden light, I want you to see it overflowing from your heart. It's filling up all your cells, all your bodies, your arms, your legs, your chakras, your aura. And it is overflowing. And I want you to let it flow out into your hands before you. And I want you to now see your theme. I want you to see your theme in this divine golden light in your hands in front of you. See the words and allow them to sit in this beautiful liquid gold divine light. Perfect. Now I want you to also see your three goals. I want you to see them. I want you to place that in this beautiful liquid gold light that's overflowing from your heart, this love, this abundance of unconditional love, which is magic. I want you to see those goals in your hands along with the theme. Perfect. And as you practice, this will get stronger for you and stronger and stronger. Now I want you to see your visualizations I want you to place those in this beautiful liquid gold divine light. And I want you to place your affirmations in your hands in this beautiful liquid gold divine light. Perfect. I want you to wrap with your hands, physically do this, wrap it all up in a bubble. Liquid gold divine light bubble. And I now ask Archangel Metatron to come in and to take our gold bubbles with our intentions for the new year. And I want him to take those up into the heavens, to the spiritual planes, into the Akashic field, into the records to make them reality for the highest and greatest good according to divine will. 
And so it is. And see Archangel Metatron take your bubble from your hands. And he looks into your eye and gives you a wink. So you know they're in good hands. And he takes them upon his beautiful golden and purple angel wings up into the Akashic field. And he releases them into the light. So they become our reality. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Woo! <laughs> ah, Janice says she feels it. Oh, girl, me too. <laughs> that was powerful. And Archangel Metatron wants to thank all of you for trusting him with your dreams for the coming year. And beyond and know that this is reality that this will become reality as long as you do the work so just do the work tomorrow we will recap we will go through this again we will increase the energy right and then after the five days you got to keep it going you've got to keep this going and you know what the amazing thing about this is you can add to this right you can add to this no problem. Just put it on your magical piece of paper. And I'll tell you what, you take your paper with all of your lists on it and you place it somewhere where you will see it every single day. And I want you to pour your love and your positive energy into this list. You can create a vision board with it. Oh, that's a good idea. We might do that. Create a vision board. You can create stickers with it. You can color it. You can draw. You can decorate it. You can pour glitter over it. Whatever you can do to increase the energy will increase the power of these intentions. Woo! So well done. Well done, queens. I'm so proud of you. And I cannot wait to see how things unfold for you in the coming year and beyond. You're going to start living your very best life from this moment on. And I want you to declare that right now. I am living my very best life. Done. It is done. It is so. Blessed be. Okay. So, all right. What do y'all think? How are you feeling? I hope you feel amazing. Oh, you're so welcome, Melissa. I'm feeling amazing. Um, I hope that you all are really going to work this program because it is going to give you some results. And I'll tell you, I want to remind you that I have some amazing discount pricing right now for the holidays to help you, my beautiful queens, connect with your angels. So you can always hop on to TeresaGrove.com, go over to my services. Um, I have also some gift certificates available if you would like to gift some magic to a friend or to yourself later on because it doesn't expire and you get to lock in that pricing if you want to connect and get messages from your angels. So a great way for you to end the year is to connect with your angels, to set your intentions and bring in that magic that is just waiting to flow into your life. Okay, well, I think that's going to do it for me today. And I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. And like I said, if you have any questions, if anything comes up, um, pop it in the comments and I will try to answer all that I can. Okay, my loves. Happy magnetizing, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.